That's good news, and, uh, and if I can add to Rebecca's story, I mean, get out, and if, you, if you've got some extra money, go out and have lunch or dinner oh, at yeah. uh, our waterfront restaurants who have been struggling so much. Absolutely, and I know that uh, Siesta Key is going to put on a big event on the 19th of Friday, okay. next Friday, so uh, again, that's going to be a huge deal out there, so you want to keep in tune with that. We'll be posting that on our web page as good. well. Uh, helping the community, that's what it's all about, right? Well, the good news is red tide has moved out. Bad news is that a tropical system developing down to our south right now. A 70% chance, just a few days ago, that chance was at 20%. So you get the picture. Things are getting a little bit interesting down to our south right now. Here's a look at the satellite imagery. You can see a deep convection now again, developing then fading away. Uh, it's not doing a whole lot. We have these strong winds in the upper levels of the atmosphere. You can see that kind of streaming on by over the northwest Gulf of Mexico, or the uh, Caribbean there. In about two days from now, there's a chance we could see a tropical storm or tropical depression emerge. And then this is the European forecast model. But I caution you and let you know that these models are going to shift a little bit back and forth, it looks like. And it could get close to Florida. It could be closer than that model is depicting. It all depends upon the high pressure over Bermuda. If that stays strong, then it'll be further away from us. But if it weakens, then it'll be a better chance to see it come closer to us. So here's the GFS. I showed you the European. This is the GFS. A little slower in developing, but a little bigger, too. And notice those purple lines there, the purple color. That indicates uh, tropical storm force winds on uh, Tuesday, getting close. Wednesday, it's there. A heavy rainfall will be on the right side if that were the case. We're talking about uh, some uh, pretty heavy storms, similar to what we saw with Alberto to start the season. So this one may be wrapping it up. The next name storm, by the way, is again Michael. Out here, Leslie continues to spin. It has done, done so for over 14 days now, and it could last another five days. It heads to the southeast. Top winds have dropped down to 60 miles an hour. It is moving off to the east, eventually to the southeast, and you can see it's still expected to be a tropical storm down there in the Atlantic. Well, the Lakewood Ranch webcam, we have music on Main going on tonight. Looks be pretty good. That's not bad at all. Temperatures in the 80s, not bad. And there's a chance for a few showers. You see those clouds starting to get a little gray on the bellies of them there. Uh, we could see some uh, scattered shower activity, but not a lot. And they should move pretty quickly off to the west. We do have a sea breeze, something we haven't seen this uh, week at all. A little west wind near the coast. It's been all east, and that's been good news for the red tide. I think you'll see a little sea breeze on Sunday. But as far as the radar picture goes, not a lot of rainfall around here. As I mentioned, a few spotty showers are possible. Uh, especially as that uh, moisture you see now near Bethany moves toward the coast with that sea breeze kind of set up right here. Well, some dry air is in place, so don't expect a lot of rainfall on Saturday. Saturday looks good. Sunday also looks pretty decent. Just a little bit better chance for some late day storms. Temperatures currently into the mid 80s. Feels like 95 though. We have a west sea breeze there at the airport. That's something we haven't seen all week. As I said, 89 the high, no 90. That's good, huh? but still above average. 93 the record and the uh, national weather showing some snow falling over North Dakota. We're not going to tap into any of that cooler air, but Kansas City is high tomorrow, 59. Chicago, nice 71. For boaters tomorrow, northeast winds at 10 knots. We'll have a light chop on the bays and the waters. Let's check the seven day forecast out. Slight chance for late day showers. Saturday looks good, albeit warm. And Sunday, a little bit better chance for a few scattered showers on Sunday. And then we'll be watching the tropics. If we get the rain right now from that system, it looks like it'll begin Tuesday and stick around on Wednesday. Back to you.